Hey guys, today I'm talking about diamond types and how they can help you identify natural diamonds and screen out potential laboratory grown diamonds. I'm Julia the Gemologist from the Gem Academy and welcome to my YouTube channel, the place for gem and jewelry professionals who would like to learn more about laboratory grown diamonds. This video specifically talks about the diamond types of colourless diamonds, the most commercially available colour for both natural diamonds and laboratory grown diamonds. So, diamond types. This is something you may have heard of before. Diamond types are a categorization system for diamonds based on the impurities within their structure. Impurities are elements that do not make up the main chemical composition of a gemstone. In regards to diamonds, diamonds have the simplest chemical composition out of all gems because they are just made from carbon. Carbon is all you need. However, other elements may sneak into the crystal structure whilst the diamond grows. We're talking super low levels, often under 0.03%, but basically any element found within a diamond that's not carbon is classed as an impurity. Even though impurities make up a minority of the diamond's chemical composition, they can have a big impact on a diamond's properties, including transparency, thermal conductivity, electrical conductivity, and colour. It's these differences in properties that can help us to figure out a diamond's diamond type, and this can help us to conclude whether a colourless diamond is natural or whether it could potentially be laboratory grown. Now there's a bit to know about the different diamond types and what they mean, but for this video, all you need to know is that when it comes to colourless diamonds, these can belong to one of two diamond types, either type 1A or type 2A. Type 1A colourless diamonds are always of natural origin. So this means that if we can figure out that a diamond is type 1A, we know that it has to be natural, and then we can move on with our lives. The chance of a natural colourless diamond being type 1A is very high. 98% of all natural diamonds are this diamond type. How do we find out whether a diamond is type 1A? I'm glad you asked. One of the most simple ways to figure out whether you have a diamond type 1A natural diamond is to use a screener specifically designed for this job. Now, there's no specific name for this type of equipment, so I like to call them shortwave UV transparency screeners as they test the stone's transparency to shortwave UV light. There's a whole bunch of these on the market which have been created from different companies they're all relatively affordable, around $400 to $800 in price range, and they're super easy to use, and they are reliable, which is why I like them. I have this one by Presidium, which they call the Synthetic Diamond Screener 2, or SDS2, and I'll show you how this one works. Once it's turned on and warmed up, you simply place the stone you want to test on the stage, close the lid, Click Start Test, and within a few seconds you get a result. The result natural means the diamond is type 1A. Job done, the result is 100% reliable, and you can confidently conclude that the stone you just tested is a natural diamond. The other result is type 2A. Diamonds that are type 2A can either be natural or laboratory grown, and this is when further tests are required to determine which one you have. So observations can be very useful, fluorescence can be exceptionally useful, uh, looking at strain patterns, and spectroscopy, if you have access to such machines, can all help you identify the origin. Or if you can't make a conclusion, this is when we can send the stone to a testing laboratory. A simple screener like the SDS2 can be so helpful in quickly determining the diamond type for yourself. Now there are limitations for this equipment, such as the size of the stone and the type of setting, so this piece of equipment can be really great, maybe not so great, depending on the kind of items that you want to test. 
Now I have a full video showing how this SDS2 by Presidium works, which you can find on this link here. If you would like to know more about diamond types, and how they are categorised, how they formed, and how this knowledge can be helpful in determining origin and even coloured treatments, do check out my mini online course, Diamond Types Explained. Now this is a great little course which is full of videos and infographics, and which one student said, this is the greatest short course I've had the pleasure of studying. Thank you, Dimitri from Gemology Obsession. That's it from me today. If you work with diamonds, subscribe to this YouTube channel as I'll be here for you on Tuesdays. And I hope you enjoyed this video by the Gem Academy. Feel free to ask me questions and I'll see you next week for more on Laboratory Grown Diamonds. Take care and I'll see you soon.